RSVP Maker is a free events and email marketing plugin that you can use to manage your own events on your own website and send out email invitations and email newsletters using integration with MailChimp or Postmark, or you can get a pre-integrated version hosted through rsvpmaker.com. There's also payment functionality so that you can charge for your events and collect payments for via either Stripe credit card payment or PayPal, your choice. So registering for an event looks something like this. We come in, I'll take advantage of my last pass here to fill in these fields. And notice there's a checkbox here saying add me to your email list which is suggested. I'll say I'm not a robot and submit this. And in this case, this is an online event, so I'm going to get back a registration confirmation that includes a Zoom link. And I should see a confirmation message here as well, uh, along with a easy add to calendar functionality. Now, if I was charging for the event, uh, here's one that's based on uh, a real event held by a client of mine. They own a specialty produce, gourmet produce um, farm for major chefs, and they have the chefs in to show off their, their stuff. So I can register for this one, and I can say that my wife will attend as well as a guest. And when I submit this, because there is a price associated with it, I will pay for two people. Pay with card. I'm on a test site here, so I'm not going to use a phony credit card number. But just so you see how that would work. Also, something that's very handy is that if we have something that is an online event, uh, often online events invite in people from many time zones. If this event is not in my native time zone, RSVP Maker immediately tells me 6 a.m. Pacific, but it's 9 a.m. my time, because not everybody can do that time zone math in their heads. If I'm logged in as the administrator, I can also go to any of these events and go to new RSVP email copy event to email and I will get this loaded into my email template with the subject line up here as the title of the post and then the the body is formatted down here so this content has been included with an RSVP button so when people receive this via email they know how to register and maybe I want to add a little extra content in here I'm going to go into Patterns, and Patterns is a way of including predefined content. So I'm going to grab a blog post, and I'm going to include that too. Let's just say that I want to send this out with a promo, and it says I'm going to talk, be talking in this event about the email newsletter and email invitation tools, and then down the bottom there's a link to a blog post with a video um, and that's all wonderful so I'm gonna update this and I get prompted to view it in my email template and I'm gonna send this out to the built-in email list now again there is MailChimp in integration so I could send this out through MailChimp um, but I've been using Postmark, which helps with both the email broadcast, the newsletters, as well as transactional messages like those RSVP uh, confirmations. So I'm going to get a prompt to confirm, because when you're sending email out to more than 100 people, or any large number of people, you should be sure first. So there is a function down here to send myself a preview. I'm pretty confident that this is ready to send out. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. 
and it tells me the big email broadcast is confirmed. It's going to start sending those out in batches uh, until it has gotten through the entire list. So this is a method of instead of depending on an external service such as MailChimp, I'm really managing my mailing list database uh, within WordPress. Uh, and I can do things like send to website members. So if you have a membership oriented uh, site, that can be very handy. Some of my work with Toastmasters clubs relies on just sending to website members. And then maybe if they're trying to promote themselves to a list of past guests or whatever, then they might go out to a general email list. You do also have the option of sending a follow-up message. So after this event, I would find the demo and Q&A under recent events. What's showing here is a bunch of demo things. Uh, but Or if, if I had some update to send out to just the people who have registered to say I'm going to have a guest speaker who wasn't advertised originally, I might send something out just to the future events. So that's using the RSVP registration list as the mailing list. And to create one of these events, you're going to use the familiar WordPress add new method under just as you would under post or page. We go to add new and we will get a, a blank event. But one of the first things it asks us to do is to set the event date and time. We don't want to forget that. So we'll say that this is going to be an event on July 13th at 7 p.m. We can specify that we want to add the, the time zone to be displayed, and we want to show a time zone conversion feature, as I showed you earlier. Uh, this website, demo website is set up to have its default time zone be somewhere in Africa, but we can make this be whatever it needs to be. Um, and some of you may hold events that are in different time zones, depending on whether you're holding a conference or whether you're holding your, your weekly meeting that's always in the same time zone. So you can specify that on the event level. You can have just informational events, but if you want to take registrations, you would turn on collect RSVPs. And there, there are tabs here where we can customize the form, we can customize the default confirmation message. The default is just thank you uh, for registering, uh, but we could add additional details like a Zoom link for an online event, uh, that sort of thing, or directions to the physical event. And then there's a pricing tab where we can set one or more prices. You can have an early bird price that expires on a certain date uh, or you can have just a regular price. So I can say that this is a per person price of $50. And we'll add that price to the list and that will become part of our record. And then from here, it's, it's just the same as if you were filling out a, a blog post or a page or anything. And if I needed to get back to change some of the options there, I always have the option to, to do that. This button here will open up that panel or that set of panels. And so we should be able to save this and see that this is my testy test event that does have RSVP and it's asking me to pay $50 if I want to attend this event. There's a lot you can do with it, and if you'd like consulting help or you'd like to host your website through rsvpbaker.com, please get in touch on the website.